Hey everybody, welcome to Extra Stuff, and on this Extra Stuff I'm talking about Turtles Fighters. Look. Turtles Fighters. Yeah, um, these are bootlegs from the early 90s, late 80s of, well, Turtles. Uh, yeah, I've got all four of these, so let's have a closer look at them. Right, so here is the first turtle, um, looks like Donatello, and yeah, let's look at the packaging. <laughs> it's still got the Heroes and a Half Shell thing, it's got um, it's like Raphael with a baseball bat or something. Uh, oh, there's Raphael, so that must be Michelangelo, I guess. But that looks like, they've all got red bands on, okay. <laughs> and yeah, let's look at the face. And the teeth, um, the teeth aren't good. <laughs> uh, what weapon is that? It's like got a, a battle axe or something. Yeah, so that's really Ninja Turtles. It's got an axe, it's all loose in there. Uh, yeah, the build isn't good. Look, even the arms sort of popping out a little bit. They're not good. The weird thing about these is, uh, <laughs> when I saw these, because I saw these on eBay, as soon as I saw them, I thought, wow, they look just like the turtles I used to have. And I realised, just looking at the teeth, I did have um, a load of bootleg turtles as a kid. I had the proper ones as well, but I think before I got the proper ones, my parents actually did get me uh, a bunch of bootlegs. I don't know if they were actual turtles fighters, but because I think it's just the face mould that I remember really well. Um, yeah, so that's... Donatello, so let's get the next one. Who's this? This is, oh it's orange, so it must be Michelangelo. And he's got whatever the hell that is. What is that? I've never seen a weapon like it. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not even going to try and guess what that is. That's a strange weapon. And you can see plastic sort of, yeah, it's not very good. Didn't come out of the mould very well. Paint is quite dreadful really. Um, but you can tell they are sort of like based off the moulds of the actual turtles figures, but just not very well, you know. And on the back of the packaging, if you guess, it's just all plain. So yeah, it was like the late um, 80s, early 90s that um, these started appearing in like markets and stuff like that, when turtles were really big. So there we have Michelangelo. Here we got now um, Leonardo. And, oh, it makes a bit of sense. At least he's got a sword. It's sort of in his face. Can I move that away? No. Okay, he's got a sword, which makes a bit more sense. So, that's alright. It's just, it's not really shifting from his face. Wish I can get down there. Nope, it's not moving. So, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, this one looks like a bit better. The mould and everything. It's not as bad, but still, you've got the weird teeth. And, yeah and the sword in the face. So that is Leonardo. And last but not least, it kind of looks like it's not as purple as Donatello, so you can see the sort of reddish tint, so I'm guessing Raphael, I'm guessing. And he has what looks like a policeman's, is it called a nightstick or baton? No, not baton. I don't know what they're called, but the thing police batter people with. Um, he's got one of those for some reason. <laughs> and, oh, his belt's a bit wonky as well. And it's got a D on it. All, the, all of them have got a D on him, except for Leonardo's, which which has a smudge. I don't know what that is. Oh, and I've just noticed uh, Michelangelo isn't even wearing a belt. Is there a belt anywhere in there? No, so, okay, Le uh, Michelangelo doesn't have a belt, and all the others do, so he must be... Oh, a little default one. It's not very good, is it? But yeah, they're terrible. Just look at them. Just look into those dead eyes. <laughs> they're absolutely horrific. But, yeah, they're, I guess they're a piece of history, I guess. You know, every time something became big, you always get these knockoffs, uh, bootleg things that come around. And they're, they're fun to look at. Um, I'm going to try and get a hold of them more sometime because they're just fun to, you know, make fun of, I guess. So there it is. They are the Turtles Fighters. 
and there was a loads of others um like turtle and bootleg things called different things but um the only ones i know of are turtles fighters and as an addition i'll show you this as well because this is the thing i'm not sure if it's a um, bootleg or not but it is max rebo and i bought this cheap on ebay and i'm not sure if it's either a bootleg or it's just been repackaged because you don't really get a blank back like that with just that from um you know from a toy company like it usually probably be like Kenner or something wouldn't it but no it's not usually does a brand like it usually shows you all the different characters you can get and stuff so it's either been repackaged or it's a bootleg if you know if you know your Star Wars stuff then let me know um, I'm not sure what it says underneath there oh it just says Lucasfilm limited 2007 so oh it's quite recent actually then so let me know is that a bootleg or is it not it's still cool it's quite heavy as well but, um, I just really like Max Rebo, so <laughs> I wanted that. So yeah, but anyway, back to Turtles Fighters. So that is the Turtles Fighters in all their glory. If you find any on eBay, you might as well get them, they're a bit of fun. And there you go. Heroes in a half shell.